every EV driver encountered this scenario. This charger doesn't work. What if I tell you you can help the community improve the charging network and get something out of it? And charge! Share your experiences and impressions at the charging station via and charge. Give direct feedback, receive kilometers and stars, collect kilometers and exchange them for charging credits. Use the link in the description and get 20 kilometers for free. Hello everyone, this is the Volkswagen ID7 GTX, the all-wheel drive version with 250 kilowatt and an 86 kilowatt hour battery and today we're going to do 110 kilometers an hour range test. I just did 130 kilometer, kilometers an hour range test and I achieved 328 kilometers because today it's cold. It's around 3-4 degrees and it was raining uh, most of the time. It's a wet road, it's foggy. And I need the heat. I had 24 degrees to heat on. Look at the beautiful light. If I go closer. <laughs> no, it doesn't turn on right now. Um, charging here at a Tesla supercharger to 90% and then we go. Go on the highway, drive 110 GPS kilometers an hour speed and then arrive back here and then we calculate the range. There we are, next range test, 113 on the speedometer, on this beautiful head-up display, or the tiny little <laughs> cockpit view here. I started with 90%, like I said. I'm in eco mode, have the heat on 24 degrees. In eco mode, the heat power is reduced. So there's a max output that you can have. Seat heater on two, it's now five degrees, but it was four degrees when I started. And I'm gonna drive down to around 20%, so use 70% of the battery, and then we see the range. I used 10% of my battery and drove 43 kilometers. This is of course way too early, but right now it would mean a full range of 430 kilometers. We'll see when we are at 50% there, we have a real good estimation. I used 25% of the battery, drove 111 kilometers, so full range would be 444 kilometers. Consumption is at 189 right now, average speed looks good, um, 5.5 degrees now. I'm still in eco mode, I put the fan on low, it's, I'm not in auto anymore because the air that comes out is not very warm. Um, Drive is good, it was raining a tiny, tiny bit, but now it's stopped.
I have used 50% of the battery, drove 218 kilometers, full range would then be 436. Consumption got a bit higher, 193. I just turned around and on my way back, let's look at the navigation, it's 93 kilometers back and the car thinks I arrive with 18%. When should I arrive? 1242, that's in 46 minutes. I see it in the head-up display. Yep, so let's try doing this. How is the drive at 110? Of course, it's a bit quieter than at 130, but I still hear uh, wind noise, but I don't know if it's more than my ID7. I'm not good. Uh, I have to drive the, the my car and then this right after each other because maybe with the wet road. So rain, it just started a tiny bit. It didn't rain the whole time. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit, but I rarely had to wipe. Now this is a bit more, but the road has been wet or damp the whole time. So that's sad. And by the way, I'm not in comfort, uh, in eco mode anymore. I went to comfort because it was too cold in here. I was just, it didn't do anything. <laughs> and that's, that's not good. I arrived with 19%, car says I drove 312 kilometer, Google Maps says it's 309, 191 watt hours per kilometer is my average consumption. So if I take that, I drove 309 kilometers and I used 71% of the battery, I get to 435 kilometers of full range. Today with, it was like four to six degrees and mo uh, all the time wet, but a bit of rain too. And, and the heat at 24 degrees and in comfort mode half of the time. That was okay. So, I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> uh, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, Betty Life one and if you wanna support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you wanna know what's happening behind the scenes of a third YouTube channel, Behind the Battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.